you're not T-Rex, but you're basically the cooler, lesser-known cousin. Think of T-Rex as that famous sibling who got a movie deal. And you? You're Juchang Tyrannus Magnus, aka the Great Tyrant of Juchang, a meat-eating, bone-crushing nightmare who ruled what's now eastern China about 70 million years ago. You don't burst out of an egg. You squirm. You wriggle. You push your way out of a leathery dinosaur egg, blinking against the sunlight. You're tiny now, maybe the size of a chicken. But inside you? The soul of a predator. Around you are your siblings, also hatching, twitchy and noisy. Your mom? Yeah, she's not around. No hugs. No snack packs. No bedtime stories. You spend your early weeks hiding in the ferns like you're playing the world's most intense game of hide-and-seek. Except everyone else is playing eat-and-seek. Everything's a threat. Other dinosaurs? Walking jaws? Giant bugs? Basically flying nightmares. The weather? One minute it's sunny, the next it's like, surprise, flash lightning, idiot. You eat whatever you can find. Tiny lizards. Maybe a suspiciously unattended egg. Listen, finders keepers. You grow faster than a teenager on a junk food binge. Your legs are leveling up. Your teeth are coming in hot. And you're out here biting literally everything. Sticks, your own tail. Probably your siblings too. You're built for destruction and giving main character energy. You live in what's now called Zhucheng, in modern day Shandong province in eastern China. Back then, it was a lush, floodplain paradise. Rivers, forests, ferns taller than giraffes. Modern humans found your bones in Zhucheng, and it's so full of fossils that they call it the dinosaur graveyard. Your first hunts? Absolute disasters. You sneak up on a sleeping ornithopod. You pounce. You trip on a tree root and you crash face first into the dirt. The ornithopod stares in disbelief. Chat, is this real? You stalk a herd from the bushes, only to sneeze so loudly they scatter like you just dropped a meteor. You're fast, but not stealthy yet. You've got strong legs, sharp claws, and that iconic tyrannosaur jaw, but you don't know how to use it properly. Eventually, you start to get the hang of it. Chase from behind, bite at the legs, then chomp, go for the kill. Success never tasted so delicious. Now, you're massive. We're talking over 10 meters long and around four tons of angry muscle and bone. You walk through the forest like you own it, because at this point, you do. Your sense of smell is razor sharp. Your teeth, serrated steak, knives the size of bananas. Your bite force, enough to shatter bones like pretzel sticks. You're an apex predator, the undisputed top of the food chain. Your arms are still hilariously tiny. Classic Tyrannosaur design flaw, but your jaws do all the talking. You don't roar for fun. You roar because everything around you needs to know you're coming. Your prey doesn't stand a chance. Even smaller predators avoid you like the plague. You're not T-Rex, but you are definitely just as terrifying. Let's talk looks. You're big. Not T-Rex big, but pretty close. Strong legs, heavy tail. Your head alone could eat a watermelon whole. Your skull is long and deep, perfect for delivering a bone-breaking bite. Your eyes are binocular vision, meaning you can track moving prey with deadly accuracy. Your nose? Massive olfactory bulbs mean you can smell lunch from miles away. Downsides? Well, again, your arms are not helpful. They're tiny and awkward, more useful for comedy than combat. Other predators? They try to take your turf sometimes. Big mistake. You don't bark. You don't bluff. You charge in, jaws wide, teeth ready. You clash with rivals. Another Zhucheng Tyrannus, or maybe a hungry Tarbosaurus sneaking into your turf. It's all tail lashes, stomping feet, and snapping jaws. Fights are brutal, quick, and often end with one of you limping away with a fresh scar, or becoming someone else's dinner. Your territory is precious. You need space to hunt, to mate, to live. You don't share. You conquer. Ah, mating season. Time to turn on the charm. You strut into the clearing like a prehistoric heartthrob. You even practiced your roar to sound extra deep. 
real alpha energy. There she is, the one. She's majestic, scaly, slightly terrifying. You puff up your neck like, hey girl, I got 60 teeth and zero emotional baggage. You try the classic moves, low roar, she yawns, tail wiggle, she walks away. You bring her a half-eaten hadrosaur leg like it's fine dining. She gives you a look like, seriously? Leftovers? So you go for broke. Full dramatic performance. You stomp the ground, shake the trees, let out a roar that echoes across the valley. Birds fly. Lizards scatter. You're like, boom. Nailed it. She looks unimpressed. Then, plot twist, she headbutts you and leaves. Brutal. Rejected like a dino on Tinder. But hey, you shake it off. You're built like a tank and you've got options. Mating is a numbers game, right? On to the next scaly queen. Once the eggs are laid, they're on their own. Maybe you bury them a bit. Maybe you guard them briefly. But your species is more tough love than gentle parenting. If the hatchlings survive, great. If not, well, that's nature, baby. Eventually, the hunts get harder. Prey animals get faster. Your joints ache. Your reaction time slows. Taking easy meals, scars mark your face. Teeth fall out and don't grow back as sharp. One day, you try to take down a little dino and it kicks you hard enough to bruise your ribs. One day you stop moving. Maybe it's from an injury. Maybe it's just time. You collapse under a tree, bones heavy, eyes cloudy, breath slow. No emotional goodbye, just silence. Your body returns to the earth. Plants grow around you. And somewhere, under the soil of China, your fossilized bones are still resting. Then, millions of years later, humans dig you up. In 2011, scientists found your bones in Zhucheng, China. Paleontologist David Hone looked at your jaw and said, This isn't just another dinosaur. This is a new species, a great tyrant. They named you Zhucheng Tyrannus Magnus because you earned it. You were powerful, fearsome, legendary. And now, you live on, not in the forest, but in museums, science books, and the imaginations of dino-loving humans all over the world.